everyone. This is Nicole. I've got another junk journal to show you today. This one is made from a novel that was written in 1907 about gypsies called The Romany Rye. And this one will not be going on the site. It's already been claimed. So I just wanted to share it though in case anybody wanted to see it, um, wanted any inspiration for a gypsy junk journal. So anyway, I usually don't do them this fluffy. That's, it's not usually my style, but um, the gypsy theme lent itself this way and my customer was lent to the fluffy. So here, here's the fluffy. Anyway, um, on the front we got a lot of gilding um, from, from the book itself. And I did cover that in an acrylic sealer to try and save the gilding as much as possible since this book is over 100 years old. Um, I put a little eyelet here in the in the top, and it's got some charms um, sprinkled through here, some lockets and whatnot, and some sorry silks. On the inside, well, let's look at the cover first. This is the cover. Um, this is a piece of Indian trim from a garment, and we've got a little miniature tambourine and a dragon wing and then right here is a little quote blame it on my gypsy soul I figured that was fitting for the front anyway let me see if I'm in in frame for you yeah it's pretty good okay it's it's really really thick I had to stop putting things in it or she wouldn't be able to have anything to put in it I left this inscription on the inside. Um, it's dated February 1907. It says, For Dear Maud, with love from ASM. And I just left that as homage to the book. I put a little file folder in the front with a, a quote, an old Celtic quote. Um, may, you, may you have warm words on a cold evening um, I'm reading upside down. A full moon on a dark night and a smooth road all the way to your door. I thought that was pretty. I mean, there's a little receipt in there for, I think it's uh, shoeing horses, <clears throat> and a small booklet filled with parchment paper. That goes in there. This is the beginning. This was the original front of the book, so I left that in there as well. I put some tags in there as page tabs, and I've also created some um, some shipping tags, but with some book pages, and I layered some some pieces of, of neat papers and fibers and sewed around them and whatnot. And then I've left a lot of the the pictures that were originally in the book. I cut them out and made sure that they all got put back in there for safekeeping in the envelope. Oh, and I've got all these paper clips that have sari silks and this cool yarn that had all the neat colors. I thought it was gypsy looking. Lots of coffee dyed tea stained papers in here for journaling. Um, there's little glassine bags, some fiber paper. There's a lot of pages in this book. Here's another little booklet with a little pocket on the front, and it's filled with just random, random little papers in here. And there's some notebook paper, some pattern paper, it's an envelope that I put some, some beading on. With use, it'll lay flatter. <laughs> There's another one of those shipping tags and a picture from the book. It was of a horse fair, a gypsy horse fair. And then some ledger paper. Here's another tag, it's got a little pocket sewn onto the front. And another 
picture from the book there. And a postcard of a gypsy wagon. And paper, paper. Here is an envelope that this has got her the gypsy's coins. And there is a gypsy proverb here on the front. And then there's some various little things in the pockets. Some surprises in the pockets. Another ledger paper. A large tag. A graph paper. This is a little file, miniature file folder here in the middle, made into a little pocket. Some more paper. And there's another picture of some gypsies from the 20s. And then here's the last one. Some more gypsies and a gypsy proverb that I tucked in here. And then on the back, I've got this glassine bag, and then it, it has some more gypsy ephemera inside there. And then on the back of the book, um, I put the definition of a gypsy soul. And then that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, like I said, it's not going on the site, but I thought I'd document it and, and show it to you guys. Hope everybody's having a great Friday. It is the weekend. Have a great and safe weekend, guys. And I will see you next time. Bye.